Alex, we've seen in recent weeks how the team has been on the front foot in games. What sort of approach can we expect to see on Saturday against Norwich? Yeah, listen, I, th I think the way we play will be dependent on obviously the opposition as well. You know, if you're playing a team that just turn the ball, there's nothing to press. But ultimately when teams do sort of look to use the ball in their own half of the pitch, then naturally we we're not a passive team. You know, we're an aggressive team, we're front foot, we want to get up against the ball, um, we want to make it difficult, we don't want to give up possession and sink into a block, shall we say. So I think in that aspect, yeah, we we'll, be, we'll be arguably one of the most aggressive teams in the league. Um, but that's something that I want my teams to look like. There's a chance for you to come up against one of your former clubs again. How do you reflect on your time at Norwich? Yeah, listen, they took a big chance on me, you know, and it's something that I'm sort of forever grateful for because coming from Hamilton to, to Norwich is a huge jump, uh, especially I was so young at the time, I was only 33 when I went there. Um, and it was such a big challenge, you know, but I thought there was a lot of bravery shown on their part to appoint me. Um, and while I was there, obviously, we achieved the ultimate goal, which is which is promotion. So, um, yeah, I, I deemed myself when I was there as a success. But also, when I look back on it, I've got really fond memories of the club. You know, it was really good for me. Given how the team have been performing recently, I'm sure the fans will be right behind the side on Saturday. How do you assess how the supporters have really got behind the team, particularly sometimes when things haven't been going so well this season? Yeah, I think we, we discussed at length quite a few times this season in terms of the importance of the fan base, you know, and. And not only that, though, I think that we've wanted to give them something back, you know, because there has been games when we've needed them at home. We haven't been in great form at times and you need that back and you need that support because of the importance of the game. And they were always there, they always backed us. And I'm hoping now that they feel as if some of that was justified and now that we're trying to pay them back through good performance, through work ethic, through looking like something on the pitch that can be relatable to them, you know, hard working, die on the pitch for the cause, do everything they can for the three points. And I think at the moment, I think that's where we are as a team. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping they're enjoying it just now. Just touching on Max Altuan Zabi, I remember when he first came to the club, you said that the medical and conditioning teams would have to put a plan in place to get him up to speed. How do you kind of assess how that plan's gone? Yeah, I think we've planned it out extremely well. You know, I, I said in quite a few occasions, I've had quite a few players that have been out for over a year and then had to sort of nurse them on the way back. I think that it's a really delicate process because I think everybody's slightly different. Um, I think introducing them, giving them some minutes, I think it was 60 odd minutes he got against Brighton, then dropping him out the next game, then upping his sort of workload and training, and then sort of delaying his sort of restart to come back into the team, I thought was certainly the best um, decision. And I think now we're seeing the fruits of that. You know, I think there's been a lot of hard work going on as well in terms of the background, getting his fitness levels up through him and through the team. Um, in terms of the backroom team. So, yeah, I, I think we've, we've managed that side of actual sort of progress extremely well. He's part of the team that got that result at uh, Middlesbrough in midweek. It got feisty at times, but do you feel as though that's the sort of challenge that your, your team enjoys? I, I love the type of games. You know, I'm very much on the old school um, in terms of how I like the game to be played. You know, and I spoke about after the game, if the referee's willing to let things go and let the boys go at it, I'm more than comfortable with that. Um, now, a foul's a foul, but I think we're too quick sometimes to, to stop physical contact and we need to understand that football's a contact sport. So, um, yeah, a, a couple of the lads got caught. I think Axel got caught with an elbow on his, on his, uh, on his just outside his eye, but yeah, he's fine, you know, and it's part and parcel of the game. How are we in terms of injuries going into the game at Norwich Shape? Do you have anybody else back? Yeah, I, th I think Josh Tymon was unfortunately, he was ill for the last game, so I think he'll be back in. Uh, Jags will make a late call on, but he's made good progress. So yeah, I, th I think we'll be, we'll be, um, we'll be sort of fitter, shall we say, as a squad um, than we were at Middlesbrough. Cheers, Gaffer. Thank, Thank you very you. much.